Hey everybody, today we're gonna to talk about the snatch grip deadlift. Snatch grip means wide grip, just like the Olympic lift, the snatch, where you bring the bar all the way up over your head. Um, why would I do a snatch grip deadlift? I used to love this variation before my hips really started to be a pain in my ass. <laughs> um, just because if you're really flexible and you can get down into that position, it's kind of nice, right? You get a little bit more feedback from your legs, and especially if you're short and you have leverage like me, like you got good quad involvement in this exercise. So all this is, it's a wide grip and it's a deadlift, right? So if the deadlift, I have to come down to about here, with the snatch grip, my hands are a little taller, so I'm gonna have to come down a little bit further. So to get that extra motion, usually you're not gonna just take more of a bow. Like most people aren't gonna try to deadlift from here. And I wouldn't recommend people generally do that as well. What I'm looking for usually and most is you have this uh, RDL position to the knee and then you squat gradually, keeping your back angle the same until you get down to the bar. And then I just undo it. So I unsquat, feel tons of quad there, and then I bring the hips forward to stand back up, right? I don't lead with the shoulders and arch my back. I bring the hips forward to stand back up. Why would I use a snatch grip deadlift? Um, really loads the upper body. If I wanna train a different range of motion for the hips, it's a good accessory movement, right? It's a good variation of a deadlift. If you've been deadlifting for a while and your deadlift is kind of stagnant, you can train the snatch grip deadlift to train a little bit more range of motion and, and just give you a different target, right? And you'll see that as you build up this accessory movement, it starts to actually carry over into your main lifts. Um, all sorts of other accessory lifts that you can do that way. Um, other things that I, it's a good challenge for somebody who's really mobile. Um, but I would, I would say, be remiss if I didn't mention, there is a caveat. You have to be pretty flexible. I'm not usually giving this to somebody. I'm not giving at least a, a narrow stance. Let's, I'll turn this way. I'm not giving a narrow stance version of this to most people because you just run out of hip motion in that position. Now, I could probably make it, um, but I don't want to. <laughs> Hurts my hips a little bit. So what you're generally gonna have to do if you're most people is widen your stance. That's gonna free up your hip motion more. And then you can come down into the whole squat. This one kind of grays the difference between a deadlift and a squat, right? I'm, I'm still adopting a deadlift kind of pattern. I'm starting from the bottom and coming up, but I'm bending my knees a little bit more and I'm driving with my quads a lot. So it's a good way to kind of mix the two. Um, it's good punishment to clients if they're late or if they're very sassy and you need to shut them up. I'm kidding, I'd never do that. I don't ever do that. Um, snatch grip deadlift, give it a shot.